segment 17 on building the black pearl. I made some more progress. I've uh, made some discoveries that I think will help you if you're trying to build this ship and if you happen to buy the same one that I did. So let's get started. I've done the working uh, for the supports for all the rigging, at least inside the ship. There'll be more outside. Done some work around the base of the main mast. I think that's about it, so let me show you those steps because some of the items were hard to identify. Next I'm going to install some of the rigging supports, but there's one issue here that's a little tricky. So B20 is where it starts and goes up through B24, and they'll be on both sides, but when you get to B21 it's a little different piece, and it's combined with B26. B21 is square hold and it has to be taken apart. And B26 loops inside it. So here's one that's completed and that will attach like that, kind of upside down. The closed in downward. Here they are completed and the loop goes towards the bottom. B21 is two pieces connected. You have to take them apart and then put that piece in there and then put them back together. There are six of them total. Currently there are two on each side so there may be two more that go somewhere else on the ship. I don't know that yet. That or I have two extras. I have all the rigging line supports in place along with the belay pins. They're easier to put in first and then glue things into place. After a lot of comparison, I finally figured this out. H18 and 19 are on the outsides, and sandwiched in between them is H20. 18 and 19 are just like plain washers. 20 has the cutouts in it. This is the one that goes directly on the deck. It's not elevated and it's going to be hard to explain. This clips on the lower one so it creates a space in between the two of those and then the bottom matches up to those um, engraved lines. So I've only put two in. They'll go all the way around. I'm hoping you can distinguish the shape and see how that fits in there. I'm going to have to unassemble it because I still need to stain uh, some of those parts. I seem to say that a lot, don't I? But I think that'll give you an idea of how that will work. And that goes at the base of the main mast. And I'm just using this as a, a holder. I purchased some walnut dowel that will serve as my mast, whereas this is just a, a pine probably. But that'll help me to be able to construct that and get it to hold together solid. I'll show it to you when it's done. Here's the part completed and you can see now the holes are there now that I have that in the right position. It's time to insert the handles. That will be part B14. Here's the section of them. So I need to and you can tell the part that uh, fits in the individual slot. Right. Okay, I've completed the, uh, the base for the main mast with all the posts on it. The only thing I haven't done is I have not put the chain on yet. I have the chain. But I'm waiting for this to dry and then I want to give it a coat of uh, tongue oil. And the tongue oil actually strengthens the wood and makes it uh, stronger overall, so I want to do that before I attach those chains. On most models, this little section here I think is a solid piece, but I have a couple of very small windows as leftovers, so I've decided I'm going to put those in there. So what I've done, I've taken that panel and I've kind of cut out a slot for the window. 